How much money has this YouTube channel earned me in eight short months? This video is gonna be juicy. We hit 10K subscribers, there's full disclosure of my earnings, I'm gonna give a bucket load of cash away, and I even got statues made for the Carol's Choice Awards. Let's get it. You may not have noticed, but the channel is called Damien Talks Money. So what kind of a hypocrite would I be if I didn't discuss the money I was earning on this very platform? We're gonna look at two types of income today, but first, I'm just gonna put this on the floor because I'm sat on it and the shape's pretty unforgiving. Probably won't send that out to someone. Don't know where it's been. But yeah, we're gonna look at the two types of income today. So YouTube AdSense, which is the money that I receive for the adverts that show on my content. And then we're also gonna look at the affiliate marketing stuff. This is the free shares and things that I receive as a result of you signing up to apps like Trading212. Honestly, the free shares has been mental. So I hope that the giveaway today goes some way to repaying you for using my link and just for all of the support you've been showing me guys. Yeah, but I hope you enjoy it, makes it fun, etc. Right, to start off with, let's go through the boring AdSense. I'm just gonna flip over now to the YouTube Studio app, which will let us look behind the scenes. This is YouTube Studio. This is where it all go down there, where we create all the... It basically just gives me all the information on the activity of my channel. The data here is fantastic and there's a lot of it. But let's start with the big number. So at the time I record this, I've earned around £1,900 before tax. It changes daily, so it might show as higher than that now, because it takes me ages to make a video. You will notice I posted my first video here on the 27th of May. The reason for this weird little symbol here is because I accidentally premiered the video instead of just posting it. I didn't know what I was doing. So it was just me on one of those Chinese sexy bot chat things. Like, hey boys, I'm single, hit me up. I was like, wow. I get used to this YouTube life. Um, speaking of bots as well, if you get a reply from something that looks like me and is giving out a number telling you to text a WhatsApp number, plus one, etc., it isn't me. The way to know if it's me is if my name is greyed out like it is on screen now when I reply to you. I will never give out my number in the YouTube comments, especially not an international number. I'm from the UK, plus four, four every day, mate. But yeah, don't reply to them. Just delete them if you can, like press the three dots and report them. It's a massive help for the channel. I do police it, but honestly, it's like whack-a-mole. And the bigger my channel gets, the more and more they just appear. I think yesterday I had to block 25 different channels that were trying to do this. It took me 16 videos and until the 7th of October to start making money. I had to hit 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of total watch time on my channel. To put that into perspective, that 4,000 hours, you have to achieve it within a 12-month period. So that means in 365 days of the year, your content needs to be on for 166 days straight, day and night. That is not easy to hit. The ad revenue then started clocking in and honestly, I couldn't be happier with it so far. It fluctuates as you can see, but grew up to a peak in November before then dropping down in December. This drop is caused because in December, basically people are spending and they're not saving. So less views, my worst day was actually Christmas Day, unsurprisingly. But honestly, getting paid on Christmas Day was a flex that I thought only Santa had. So I'm happy with anything. Moving on from there, as you can expect, in January, New Year, New Me, it picks up again to the point we are at now, where yesterday I think I earned about 60 quid. An interesting point here is if we click on this CPM tab. So CPM stands for cost per meal or cost per milli, however you want to say it. A milli, a milli. Thank you, Wayne. And basically all it means is how much an advertiser has to pay to get a thousand views of their advert in front of my content. So if my CPM is 15 pounds, an advertiser has to pay 15 pounds for a thousand people to see that advert. YouTube takes a cut out of this 15 pounds. So it's not what I get, it's what they charge. And then they get half, I get half essentially. Finance or money related channels have quite high paying CPMs. I actually think channels that focus on things like drop shipping have one of the highest CPMs. But you will notice in Jan, mine has dropped. This is because in January, companies don't spend much money on ads. So as an example, if I was getting the views I am now at November's rates, I'd probably be earning 100 to 150 quid a day, not 60 quid. It just shows how little a content creator can rely on that YouTube AdSense income. It can fluctuate so much, literally 50% in a day for no good reason. This is why a lot of creators have to build out other income streams because you know I'm lucky I talk about money and 60 quid's good, but if you've got a gaming channel and it just drops you know, to pennies, what are you gonna do? 
Imagine going into work one day and your boss going, oh mate, it's Christmas, so we're gonna pay you half this month. So that is ad revenue, and that brings me on to the first giveaway. Look, I'm not daft. And the growth on my channel has been a bit mental. I got about 500 subscribers yesterday. I definitely think that's not by accident. I am intentional about the content I release and how I structure everything in the hope that I can grow. So as I know a lot of content creators watch these videos, because I sure as hell know I do, I'm giving away two one-to-one -one sessions with myself, with a content creator, so that we can sit down and have a look at their channel and see if I can give them any tips in any way on how to improve it. It's gonna be a really relaxed affair, you know, a couple of hours on a Zoom call. I'll have beers. You don't need to have beers, but I'll have beers. I don't think I'm Mr. Beast. I'm not sitting here saying I'm some kind of YouTube god. But when I first started out, you know, a few months ago, there were bigger channels that helped me and gave me advice. Namely, someone called Lara Joanna Jarvis. She's an absolute legend. She supported my channel early on, and I think it's really important to pay it forward in any way that I can. One of those slots is going to Lewis over at IQ Investing. His lovely missus reached out and asked if I would record him a birthday message as he likes my channel. Honestly, that's just surreal to me because if I was to send a personalised video message to my mates on their birthday, it would just blue tick no reply. But in all seriousness, Lewis, first of all, your missus is an absolute keeper. What a diamond. But yeah, I thought I'd try and do something for you that was a bit more, you know, meaningful than just a, a personalised video message. So hit me up on Instagram. We'll arrange the one-to-one -one session. Don't forget your beers, lad. The other slot is up for grabs. So if you are a creator and you think some time with me might help, state your claim in the comments below. Just put creator and your channel name. I'll announce the winner in the up and coming Carol's Choice Awards episode. It's a black tie event, so make sure you dress accordingly, guys. I'd hate for someone not to be able to get in because they've not got the right shoes on. Right, moving on. Affiliate marketing. This is the bit that everyone's been waiting for. And if you haven't been waiting for it, well, you should have been because this is mental. You sign up for a service, they give you something for free, I also get something for free. Pretty simple concept. The main ones are Trading212, Free Trade, who I did a review on when I first started, and recently, Coinbase. Free Trade and Coinbase tick over nicely. I get roughly one sign up per day from each of them. It's probably around £1,000 in earnings over the last eight months, which is just lovely. But it's Trading212 that's just a whole other story. Over the lifetime of my channel, I have earned in the region of £8,000 from Trading212, which works out at around £1,000 a month. That's a full-time income right there. But what's really interesting is that I only posted my Trading212 video on the 23rd of November. So in reality, the majority of that 8K, around 6,000 of it, has been in the last four weeks. I am literally earning in the region of 200 quid a day in free shares at the minute. I have no idea how to feel about all of this, guys, honestly. If anything, it's all a bit overwhelming. Really, I've just been working so hard at making videos. I work a full-time job, which is pretty demanding. And then any spare time that I have, I've just had my head down, pedaling hard, making videos. So it's only really for this video did I get a second to take a step back, look up at just the ludicrous amount of money that I've earned in the last month from free shares. I don't think it'll continue. I think it's really right place, right time. The fact that it's January, a lot of people are starting investing. But yeah, I have feelings of like joy and guilt. This weird form of imposter syndrome where I'm like, why me? Why am I earning so much money so quickly? Why am I getting all these subscribers? You know, what is going on? Really, that's kind of why I'm doing the giveaway because nothing makes me happier than the idea of someone else that watches my content and gives me that time just suddenly getting a load of money dumped in their bank account because of me. That, that just makes me feel great. As well as that, giving away the money helps alleviate my imposter syndrome. It's kind of selfish, really. I'm gonna give away a load of money to make me feel better about the fact that I'm earning loads of money. I hope that makes sense, but yeah. It's just bizarre, guys. Nothing's changed in my life. The only thing that's changed now is that Cobweb, my cat, refuses to eat whiskers and only has gray and yellow plates at Yo Sushi every night. Bougie little mother. But yeah, for me and the missus, nothing's changed. That money's just all sat in free shares, the first time I'm gonna actually sell any of it is for this giveaway. So without further ado, let's get on to the giveaway. Today, I'm gonna to give away one and a half thousand pounds. And here are the rules of the game. There's going to be a main prize. All you have to do to enter is comment down below. I will then select someone at random and they will get 500 pounds cold hard cash. I will then donate another 500 pound to a charity of their choice in their name. 
If you do win that top prize, please don't come to me with, oh, charity starts at home, please just give me the full thousand pounds. 500 quid of that money is gonna go to charity. I just think it's a really nice thing to do and I'm gonna donate it in your name so you get the cash monies and you get the glory. Perfect. Just put a comment down below if you want a chance of winning. Right, that's a thousand pound boxed off. That leaves us with 500 quid. Do you remember I said I got statues? William Caldwell was the winner of the first ever Carol's Choice Award at around 5,000 subscribers a month ago. I hope you don't think, mate, that I forgot about your statue. Drop me a DM or a message or whatever. I'll get one of these little suckers out to you in the post. Unfortunately, William can't be here to pick it up in person because since winning this prestigious award, his schedule's just been so busy. With the remaining 500 pound, I'm gonna pick five new Carol's Choice Award winners. And they are gonna be people of my choice who I think deserve it, Basically, people who have supported this channel from the beginning. As well as a shiny Carol's Choice Award, they're also going to get a prize of £100 as a thank you from me for supporting the channel. All you need to do to enter, again, is submit a comment below. If you win a Carol's Choice Award, you're still going to be entered into the main prize for the £500. So technically, someone who wins a Carol's Choice Award could win both prizes. I'm not going to rule out my loyal subscribers from the big money just because they're getting 100 quid. I, I don't think that's fair. So again, guys, all you got to do is comment down below, especially if you're one of my OG commenters, just show a little bit of love below. It might just be worth your while. One day, I hope I can take this to a place where I'm giving away life changing amounts of money. But for now, you're just going to have to do with 100 quid and a dodgy statue. Thank you, guys.